So is this what the people are seeing right now? It's the Penn this? State Kickoff Show. <laughs> Dave Jones. Well, did you pick out the music? <laughs> I think the music's pretty good. <laughs> it's not. Did, did it's not. Pick that up? It's not porny. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> No baritone saxophone. No, no, yeah. no, no, no 1973s porn music for this show. So, Bob, it, it aren't you glad that this is the last late trip into East Lansing in the foreseeable future? From now on, yeah. they're trying to make either Maryland or Rutgers Penn State's rival, and I suppose we'll have a trophy. Is there going to be a Maryland trophy? Maryland Penn State trophy? I don't. It should be. I don't think you could spend enough money on a trophy. Uh, to give to the winner of that game. Well, every it, year. it will not compete to the Land Grant Trophy, which is up for grabs. It is a big Saturday. We're up for uh, toting in the back of a uh, flatbed truck today with sizable. Michigan State Spartans. It is sizable. It's nothing but sizable. I reposted my story from three weeks ago, three three years ago, on that thing with <laughs> Bud Tallman, and <laughs> Ken Hoffman, the guy who uh, thought it up, and George Perlis, and. Um, there's some great quotes in that story, man. That thing is, thing that thing has come apart. The little football player on top came off. They had to tape yeah. it back on. They colored with like yeah. a magic marker to make it black, so it wasn't embarrassed. They kept forgetting to engrave it before they took it. I think it's it's uh, a quality enough, a classy enough trophy that like the Stanley Cup, it should have a handler wherever it goes that just protects it. <laughs> Who would that be, Greg? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody from Steelton is what I think. Someone from High Spire Steelton. <laughs> anyway, the game, the game, yeah. the game, the game, the game. Now, now every, everyone is picking Penn State. Some people by a sizable margin. Are you? What about you? Are you picking Penn State? You first. Yeah, I picked him by 10, uh, 30 to 20. What's the line now? Eight. Nine and a half. Nine? Nine and a half. It fluctuated a lot. Didn't it start 10, then yeah. down to 7, then yeah. back up? Okay. Yeah. People can't make up their minds. Uh, What's the smart money set? What is the smart money anyway? I don't think there is a smart money I don't know in what this that game. Means. What's, I, that, what's smart money mean? What is that? How do you tell what it is? I don't know. Uh, judging by how I did at the Breeders' Cup yesterday, I did not. Not have, you. Have not a lot of smart money. <laughs> but um, I think if you like Michigan State in this game, you like them to win the game, not keep it close. I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I think that's the bet. You, that would be the wager you would make. Um, I do think that Penn State's a little beat up. I do think there's gonna they're gonna be a little shorthanded on both lines today. And uh, two things to look for for me, Dave. I pick Penn State 30 to 20. I think Joe Moorhead and Trace McSorley have to get Saquon Barkley involved in the passing game like they did against Iowa. And I would look on defense for Kevin Givens to play defensive end today with Buck Holtz out. I think they have to have somebody that's got a little more ballast. In the in there, and you know that can kind of anchor against the run early. And some of the lighter guys. Yeah, they can't play Shaka Tony for 30 snaps. They'll just run right at him. Yeah. I look for that to happen, but I do think Michigan State's going to score a little bit more. Ballast. I a like that. ballast. Ballast on the defensive. Yeah. Uh, so that, th those are my I two use keys. That. I've got Michigan State winning this game. I thought if I was going to do one crazy pick this year, this would be it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's that crazy because of the old adage, it's not who you play, it's when you play them. This is not an inspiring team by any means, but they do have a crafty young quarterback named Brian Lewerke, who is slippery getting out of the pocket. I think with a, with a kind of a tired Penn State team, a little beat up from Michigan and, and Ohio State, they could be vulnerable to Lewerke today. And Lewerke is young. He had a big, big game last week against Northwestern in the 39-31 uh, triple overtime loss to them. And I think he's really gaining confidence by yeah. the week, and he could be a big problem. The other thing I would look for is Mike Kosicki. Uh, uh, he could be really a terror against this Michigan State defense, which doesn't run all that well mm -hmm. as an ordinary secondary. And um, outside of Joe Pagey, the, the, the middle linebacker, it's kind of ordinary on defense. They, they, do, they do stuff the run very well, though, so yeah, I agree do. with you. Barkley's got to be involved in the, in the passing game, and they should just go right at it right away because I'm, I'm not sure this offensive line can block these guys either. Uh, what's your score? 23-21. Right. Lower than most. The other thing I want to say before we Bad sign off. Bad weather, too. The other thing I want to say before we sign off is Lewerke is a good quarterback, but that name sounds like it's something straight out of like the Animal House bad guy, Lewerke, frat guy. Like he owes me money. Like Niedermeyer. <laughs> Lewerke. Or Stripes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Lewerke, he, Barnaby, owes me, he owes me money. General, Worky, get out here. 
Uh, I think that's it. Is it? Is it? Not? It's a short ride to the stadium. Yeah, Greg, so. give, give give the people a look. Show at, Joe Hermit. Yeah. Just show Joe Hermit. He's so just we, resolute. Just to prove that we're he's actually, a, he's a little worried. In a he's car. a little worried because I, I was late. In hand. I was late. <laughs> I did the whole video while I was driving last week, Joe. You can you can <laughs> show off just a little bit. Um, 